There's so many yardsticks by which we measure success. Among them, in this world, are wealth and power and position and prestige. You'd be surprised at what people would do to attain this kind of success. But they are all indicators of worldly success. But when you think about spiritual success, it is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more difficult to really focus in and find ways of expressing how successful I am as a child of God. Here you are progressing because you have chosen the path of life. You have chosen to live, L-I-V-E. You have chosen to live. Here you go living, living the life that God has for you, focused on the goal. And then all of a sudden, here comes this demonic distraction. Here is this thing that catches your attention. It's going in the other direction. Now, now watch this. It offers you an invitation. Hey, come go with me. Now you know what God has promised you, but this looks so good to you that you want to just try it out. So rather than go the way you're going, you make this small U-turn. So now, rather than L-I-V-E, now you're going in reverse. E-V-I-L. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. But he will never let us down if we trust him. Here it is. Then whatever, whatsoever prosperity is the idea that when I am in his will, don't miss your shout, it may not happen at the pace in which I intend or it may not happen the way I like, but I will always prosper in it. Even when the devil tries to discourage me, and tell me it won't happen. I push forward and I declare that I'm blessed 